Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to look at how to calibrate the VCO Exponential FM in on the CV Expander for the workshop. To do this, you're going to want to make sure that your workshop's been on for about 15 or 20 minutes, and then we're going to remove the top panel. This operation will calibrate your workshop's oscillator to track at one volt per octave, which is useful when controlling your synthesizer from external CV gear. If you don't plan on controlling your workshop via CV gate, this calibration can be skipped. Before moving forward, take a moment to check your workshop's note scaling when controlled externally. You may find that your workshop already responds well to volt per octave signals and therefore doesn't require calibration. However, because there can be variances in scaling between different control sources and environments, you might notice your workshop slightly drifting out of tune across its note range. If you experience this behavior, you can perform the calibration in this video to ensure your workshop maintains consistent tuning with other instruments in your setup. So now that we've removed the top panel, we're going to take the CV expander and we're going to put it back on. And it's very important that we screw down the CV expander to ensure good grounding with the bottom chassis of the workshop. So we're going to look at two different ways to calibrate your workshop. The first is going to use a tuner. Next, you want to choose a CV source to calibrate the workshop to. In this case, we're going to use a Mother 32, but any CV source will do. So whichever one you choose, you want to make sure you calibrate the workshop to that CV source. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch the KB output from the Mother 32 to the VCO Exponential FM input. For anyone wondering, the Exponential FM input is the same as a volt per octave input. And then I'm also going to patch the gate out from the Mother 32 to the gate in on the workshop. So now we can hear that the mother is controlling the workshop, but if I jump an octave, you can hear that I don't have an octave. Keep in mind that while controlling the workshop externally, the workshop's keyboard is still active and can transpose your melody. Because of this, it's best to avoid pressing any keys on the workshop during the calibration process. If you have, just go ahead and press the lowest C before this point to ensure your CV source isn't being transposed. So the first step of this process is to send zero volts into the workshop. An easy way to do this is we're going to look at trimmer VR5, which you can see says VCO Exponential Trim. And we're going to look for a note where adjustment of this trimmer won't make the pitch change at all. So you can see on a Mother 32, if I'm at the fifth octave and I hit the low C, nothing changes when I adjust the trimmer versus if I go one note up you can hear the pitch changing. So that lets us know that this C in octave five is zero volts. So now that we know that, what we're going to do is adjust the VCO frequency knob and using our tuner, tune it to a C. Keep in mind that the VCO frequency knob is quite sensitive, so hitting a perfect C might take a little bit of time. But even if you're a little bit flat or sharp, as long as when you jump to different octaves you're the same amount flat or sharp on the tuner, then the scale adjustment that you're making is going to be correct. So now that we've set our zero volt, what I'm going to do is jump several octaves up, and I can see that I'm at an E. So now I want to adjust the trimmer VR5 until this reads a C.
VR5 is also a very sensitive trimmer, so getting it exact will require a little bit of patience. Now, if I jump a little bit around, I can see areas where my C is still detuned. So now I'm going to adjust VR5 to tighten up my calibration just a little bit. So looking at the tuner, I can see that the workstat is now calibrated. So the next step is to remove the CV expander and reassemble your workstat. Next, we're going to look at how to calibrate the workstat just using the Mother 32 as a calibration reference. So the first thing that we're going to do is find our zero volts, which we already know is going to be the low C in octave five on the Mother 32. Now we want to listen to our mother. And I'm gonna use the VCO frequency knob to tune the two of them together. Now that I have a pretty solid unison, I'm once again going to jump a few octaves up. I can hear it's out of tune. So now I'm going to adjust my trimmer until I reach a unison between the two units. That sounds like I have a pretty good unison. So now that we can hear that our workshot is calibrated, I'm going to remove the two patch cables. I'm going to remove the CV expander. I'm going to reinstall the top panel. Put the CV expander back on. And then I'm going to screw everything together. So now I'm going to reconnect our two inputs from the Mother 32 and just confirm now that it's all closed that I'm still calibrated well. And now we have a properly calibrated workshop.